Hi there! It's Reikka Kovasin here. Let's first check that you can see and hear me. Let me just start the live on my computer as well. So I'll see the comments when they start coming in. Hopefully when they start coming in. Now the sounds are off from my computer, so it's not going to be double everything like an echo. So let me grab a seat right here and then let's try again if you can see and hear me. Hey Taina! Hey Lena! Yay! Suomalaisia paikalla! Eli tervetuloa, tervetuloa. Hetki menee ennen kuin aloitellaan tällaisia ABC-kortteja, joilla on tekemässä. And same in English. Welcome, welcome. I'll be starting making or remaking something like these in a few minutes. But if you have any questions or ideas or thoughts or whatever, just let me know either in English or Finnish. Tämän hetkisistä katsojista tiedän, että on suomalaisia. <laughs> Yay! Where are you from? I know that the two ladies commenting are from Finland, but is there anyone else? I came up with these because I usually concentrate on thinner prime mediums and do some kind of mixed media with layers or kind of assemblage or art journal or that kind of thing. But also there's so much more in her repertoire. So I wanted to use the stamps and well, although today it's the 11th of December, <laughs> I'm starting to think New Year already and well these were inspired by tarot cards like predicting the future but it's also kind of what you make of the future so cut and paste on your story those are handy things for for New Year to come because well cut and paste making art creating is always handy and well also mentally <laughs> is a good thing at least for me so these cards don't hold that many thinner mediums this time but hopefully some fun techniques still and well the other idea was to be kind of frugal so stamps even though they cost something, they are a medium or a tool you can use over and over again. So in the long run, it's quite frugal to have stamps because then you can make your own embellishment or characters or whatever. And also the bases for these cards are out of packaging. Because I really like this craft tone that the packaging, at least the old packaging has, so I'm repurposing that for <laughs> these. Hey Satu Johanna! Okie dokie now, it's 8 here in Finland, so let's start. I'm starting with the background, and of course I put everything on top of my sample piece here. So it's like this. Let me see. Camera is hopefully going to be there. So it's done on top of book paper. So there's some kind of pattern showing through, peeking through underneath it all. 
and then there's a gel print on top and to have some kind of varying effect I'm using alcohol ink and then pulling the print with acrylic. Hey Marie! Hey Crystal! Sorry about this noise. So here's my gel printing plate. As you can see the other side is really dirty. I'm a mean girl. I don't clean my plate usually because I love the effect that the old paint residue does to prints. It gives it a lovely grungy kind of look. So that's why I don't clean it. But if you don't like to use your plate like this, by all means, <laughs> clean it. Hello, Basilius. So happy you could join. I hope you are better now. I think I saw a Facebook post about you doing better. So this is my gel printing plate and some alcohol inks. So first it's just as easy that I'm putting some alcohol inks on top of the plate. I guess this was this cap. And maybe Jane clip so it's not that blot. Like so. Then that can actually dry there because I'm then using an acrylic paint to lift the color up. Oh, I'm so happy you're doing so much better, Vasilius. Yay! Happy to help. Now that the alcohol ink is dried, I then apply some acrylic paint. Why I'm using another brand and not Thinner burst paint is because the impasto paints, for example, are so thick. They are wonderful for many things, but for pulling a print, they are too thick. You can't get a nice print with those. So these are from Paper Artsy, but any kind of uh, craft acrylic will do. So like this. You can see some variation. Naturally, you could use a couple of colors of acrylic as well, but it's fun to use different mediums. And the alcohol inks are a little bit translucent, so you get a different effect than if you would use just different acrylics on top of the plate. My plate is so dirty, so <laughs> you need to take my word for it more than anything that the alcohol ink don't stain the plate. At least these ones I've used, they are still, you can see the plate without the alcohol ink staining it. But if you're careful with your plate, maybe then stick to acrylics because they pull off nicely. Then let's do another one and this time on top of the book paper because I was talking too much and did the print on top of cream cardstock even though I should have done it to the book paper. And again, there's the different color variations in the background. I'm also using the printing plate as a stamp kind of uh, ink pad. That's the word I'm looking for. So in order to have some light and 
dark numbers because new year well it's kind of it, uh, it's got to do with numbers and years changing so I'm stamping with acrylic using the Finnaware stamps and the easy way not to get too much of the color to your little stamp is to use a gel printing plate or if you don't have a gel printing plate then um, kind of brayer the acrylic on top of a plastic sheet for example so you kind of make yourself a little ink pad which you can then use to apply the paint and I have a jug of water here well where I then throw my stamps so I can clean them nicely later because as you know acrylic paint will stick to anything so especially with teeny tiny stamps or really detailed ones then you need to clean the stamps and not to waste anything I'll pull a print from this one as well I'm going to use it later but you can also use it for art journaling or whatever so now we have the background almost done just a couple of more thingies and then we can get to the character making <laughs> maybe I should put one of these here if you're joining thank you Vasilis if you're joining in then there's something to give you an idea of what we're doing okay now there seems to be some kind of connection problem maybe let me try to get the Hoping this will help. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Now I'm moving again in, in my screen as well. I was trying if I use just mobile connection because sometimes I've been told it helps with the video quality but it was worse than with over Wi-Fi so now we're back on Wi-Fi sorry about that now I'm just adding some darker numbers so just stamping with black to the background and as you can see from the finished cards there's just hints of the numbers peeking through because the main thing are the characters then we need the backgrounds I have one here already cut and then the cards and for that we need the paper cutter so as I'm making ATCs if you're familiar with those artist trading cards they are two and a half by three and a half inches so I'm cutting the base just two and a half three and a half and then the layer on top is just two times three and where is that? Oops. there we go the 
bases and then one more for the background. Maybe let's use that side. Because I need to put it like this. Sorry, going off camera probably for a second. Let's slice that off and then trim this. There we go. So now we have two kind of tyrant background pieces and then the actual cards. And to make him look a little bit nicer, I'm just rounding up the corners with a corner punch. Somehow this gives me the idea of playing cards more because the corners are rounded rather than just angle. Just like this. And then one more. I was thinking of giving these cards away because every time I do ATCs they are usually free. If you want one you just mail, email me or message me and I'll send one over. So again I'm thinking of doing this same thing for these cards. So just give me a shout or send me an email if you want any of these five. Three of them are done and now I'm doing two, 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 sorry, two more. <laughs> and then where is my gesso here? I've probably shown this one a couple of times already, but I'm really liking. I tend to use something over and over again when I first kind of maybe discover it or think about it and then I usually fell or fall in love with the technique and then I'm using it many times over. So this is clear gesso, not any kind of soft body gel medium, but just clear gesso I'm using to adhere the background collage the background to the base. Of course I did the wrong way. You can see it was a little bit hectic week at work. Let's do this one the other way around. Like this. Because then over here we have something on the back, but over here we have a nice blank background where I can then write the name of the card and the maker. Also you could use the same technique for a kind of greeting card or an art journal page element. And then you would have the other side blank. So just clear just so using that to adhere the background layer in place. Then we need a whole lot of stamping for the characters. I have some of the pieces here ready. But we need the heads at least. And do we have enough hands? Those we do have. So these are from various Fimabar stamp sets. Some of are older, some are, are newer. For example, the faces. These are from Art Daily stamp set and these are older but you could use any kind of shape for the body. Here's one that's like a snowman so there's different sizes of circles making his body and then there's two I see these as ladies <laughs> which have a heart shape for the kind of upper torso and then a round shape at the bottom and then the hands are 
different sizes because they are different sizes in the stamp set. So these we have and they are made on top of the kind of extra pull I just stamped the shape and then used the watercolor pencils which I'm going to use to color the lemons and then for the faces I used a blank old book page yeah I love these stamps too so true Sato Johanna because on top of green no maybe not a green face for these characters so this is kind of the first page of a vintage book so there's not text here but instead you can see see what I'm stamping so let's do one moon and one sun and let's do one element at least here so you can see how I did that let's do one heart and one circle waste none the sheet I used to pull up the excess paint then becomes part of those characters and let me grab the watercolor pencil sets these are from Prima I was trying to stick just to one but well more is more so I couldn't do that <laughs> But instead, I picked colors from two sets. The artist supply stores, for example, sell these separately sometimes. Just Then you can just pick the colors you really want and like. So I'm pressing harder near the edge and then lighter when I'm going to the middle. So it kind of gives just the highlight or kind of highlights the shape a little bit. So this color in, in the middle, it's from the print. Okay, now I'm off camera, but somewhere here. And then the color around the edge is from the pencil. Use the opposite color here. Let's go with a pink on top of the greenish bluish. Again, I'm pressing harder and then going lighter. You could use just regular color pencils as well. As silly as it sounds, I don't own <laughs> regular color pencils. I just have these and then something that goes on top of acrylic really well, so I used these, but they work fine because even though I'm then using again the clear gesso to adhere those to the cards, when I'm not going overly on top of the crayon or the pencil, it doesn't bleed everywhere. But you just need to be kind of reminded or you need to keep that in mind that you are working with then kind of creative with a bleeding tool. So let's have these. This is so different compared what probably you usually see here or what I usually do as well but it's good to experiment don't you think what works and what doesn't work 
in craft projects or in lives. Yes. Okay, and first face and then the other. You can really hear or as I'm not talking, you can hear that I'm concentrating, trying to get this somewhat circular. <laughs> so we have the faces, then we need some bodies. Let's use the just pink one as it's kind of different than any other because they are kind of blues and greens. Maybe this way. That be kind of funny looking. And then this one for her upper body. Would it be too much? Yeah, it would be too much to use two hearts. Let's go with that. Then again, Jisoo. As I'm working with the watercolor pencils. The ink that I uh, used won't bleed, but the pencils will. So I dried my brush from the water that was in the jug. So there's just the moisture of gesso and nothing more. As you probably know, clear gesso looks white when it's in the jar or when I brush it here on top, but it will dry then clear. Gesso won't hold any really heavy elements, but for simple collaging, this is kind of fast tracking because I'm priming and adhering at the same time. Although it depends on the clear gesso, I've used a couple of different ones and this is naturally thinner gesso I'm using now and it works fine, but there has been a clear gesso that hasn't worked as an adhesive. It didn't hold. The vibrant red started bleeding just a little as it's such a different color so I wiped my brush before going over the face so he's not looking all pink. Oh, the hands. Sorry about that. I'm really absent-minded today. So Otherwise he would be looking more like a snowman than a future predicting character. Now the hands are different sizes, but I think it's rather kind of gives the, these little ones some character because the hands aren't equal sized. And if you're thinking about the reading direction, then they are kind of pointing to the future because the hand on their or my right is bigger, although that's their left. But still, if we're reading it like this, that could be a nice, nice little thing. you just ordered clear gesso happy for you it's a great product I started personally some 10 odd years ago with white but the clear one is really handy if you ordered kiitos Pia <laughs> if you ordered Finnabar one this one as you can see from the later it just says gesso clear whereas the other one says heavy gesso so this is not as thick as the white and the black one. But it's great for collaging 
because it's acrylic based so it's like color colorless acrylic paint so you can use it for light collaging and well it's a primer so another trick when I started using the alcohol ink on top of the printing plate when starting if you don't have a gel printing plate you can do it kind of the other way around first apply acrylic paint on top of a sheet that closes it but another if you're pulling a print or if you're not going a perfect layer you can then use gesso or any kind of acrylic product on top and then use alcohol ink on top because then the paper is sealed it's not absorbing anymore because if you put alcohol ink on top of just plain paper it will look muddy it absorbs it and it doesn't shine like on top of non-absorbing surfaces and now some drying <laughs> Heipä hei Taina, tsemppiä korttien tekoon ja kiitos kun tulit. These are now dry to the touch, so I can go onwards. Paper is most brittle when it's wet, so whenever you're collaging or doing mixed media project, the paper is the most tender or brittle when it's wet so that's why it's also handy to dry the layers in between so you don't end up ripping or tearing anything yeah there's a lot of different gesso brands or paint brands around just the difference between the thinner bar ones that the black and white are heavy body which means they are thick or thicker and then clear gesso is just regular version and while babbling about gesso I just used a paint marker to draw a stitch line around kind of keeping everything in then some red cheeks and then these guys are a little bit of color maybe she should have some lipstick as well and then we need to add some glam with some metallic acrylic paint the color I'm using is ancient coin that's my favorite golden color because it has a little bit of kind of vintage tone it's a teeny tiny bit maybe uh, greenish the color and I like it first I'm using a teeny tiny thinner bar brush and painting the rays of the Sun naturally you could use a paint marker for this stage too but I'm using the same golden paint for three three different thingies here Just add in some golden details. Otherwise, these are kind of muted colors, but 
they need some a little bit of extra and I'm then looking what I did with those but maybe I'll paint a halo to this guy as well because the other ones the sons have such a nice halo or rays golden touches so this one needs as well otherwise he will be envious of the sons then some splashes and then the last detail will be something that will need some drying time and also something to dry upon but let's do the splashes first let me just grab a little bit bigger brush for that So I'm just using a wet brush, watered down paint to add some splashes. And maybe we need to add the predictions before I make the edges, because then I can't anymore move the cards. Now she has something in her eye. Let me just wipe that off. And some more here. Because these were inspired by New Year. So maybe these are kind of the fireworks or glitter. Of course, you could do glitter splashes. But then you need another medium. While these are made with scarcer mediums, there's maybe more tools because there's the gel printing plate and then uh, brayer stamps and stuff. Then we need to make up or think about the predictions. I have two here, keepsakes and create magic. But let's see what else we have. We have cut and paste already. Look for the magic would be good. Let's do that. And you are enough or daydreaming? Which one you, do you think? Or just start? Look for the magic. That's a de definite. But daydreaming, you are enough or just start. I'll take a sip of tea while I'll see which one you choose. Miten slidetaan? Päivä unia vai olet tarpeeksi? Mitenköhän toi suomennetaan oikein hienommin? Ja vain aloita. Okay, just start daydreaming, daydreaming. Just start. Okay, now we are in a tide. I'll see the next one and then let's see if that's either of these. <laughs> or then I just need to ask my husband who will answer left. And then I'll have to decide which one of these is left. Uh, daydreaming or just start. Which one? Just start. Just start. Okay, let's go with that. Then we need a teeny tiny piece of paper. Here we go. And then we need something to stamp with. Again, these are Dana Verb stamp sets. And if you want to know the exact um, sets, I have some of them at least listed on my blog post. I can add the link here after. So if you want to know which stamp set is, is which one. But like I said in the beginning, the character faces, for example, are from the Art Daily sets. So they are more, more recent than the circles for example it's an older 
older set. Okay, now I'm fiddling with the teeny tiny. Let's use just scissors like I did with those. I love my paper cutter, but downside is that now I can't cut straight, even if my life depends on it. But on the other hand, it has more character. The splashes are still wet, so I need to dry. Oh, sorry, Pia. I didn't realize you were asking for daydreaming. Now we're just starting. I hope that's okay. And again, I'm opening the jar of gesso to add. I'm adding the magic here because I really like how the pink one turned out and the just start is a smaller piece so it will hide the nice pink layer a little bit less or then I could just put it here yes let's put it there so it doesn't hide the pink one at all Stay put when the gesso is dry. Let me build some kind of drying stapes here already because I'm doing the edge using just. Now I need to stand up so I can line up the camera. So there's quite a thick layer of paint around the edge and even though acrylic paint is fast drying that much that heavy layer needs some drying time and if I want to have it a little bit bulky then I can place it just onto the table because then probably some of the paint will be in the table and not in the card so I'm using a flat brush and kind of in an angle. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me try to do it like this. Okay, where's the camera? There we go. And going around the edge and giving it a nice thick coat of paint kind of gilding the other option if you're thinking about thinner bar mediums would be to use wax but of course then you can't have that bulky kind of almost like cake frosting look it has Yeah, you are so right, Pia. All of this text work. I could have chosen any, honestly, because they are inspirational and they also go to any, any product almost. Or they can then be the inspiration source for, for a project. bit to the side so they will both have their own little pedestals to dry. I could use a heat tool to dry that but because I was going for 
a kind of bulky dimensional paint layer that will start boiling. So then it starts to bubbling and it's not this kind of smooth little bit of like icing on a cake looking or a candle wax looking thing anymore. So it's better to leave them air drying. So even though this one is now standing on his head, we are done <laughs> with the cards. So happy that you joined me to do this a little bit different. Mixed media, ATC live. If you have any questions, just leave them to the comments. I'm trying to keep an eye on those for a couple of days at least. And well, have a really nice holidays because I'm seeing you next year. I have my January live project already done. Do you want to see a little sneak peek what I'm then doing in January for Finnabara Friends Group? Kiitos, Lena. Uh, ja vielä suomalaisille sellainen tiedoksi, että kunhan mä saan aikaiseksi, niin ajattelin tammikuussa kysellä. No ainakin pitää siis jonkun suomenkielisen liven, missä vaan teen arttisivun. En meinaa tehdä valmista projektia, minkä sain idean siis tuosta Heidin livestä tuossa vähän aikaa sitten, että vaan tehdä tällaisen, niin kuin tehdään jotakin. <laughs> Thank you Marianne. Yeah, great holidays. To everyone, would like a sneak. Okay, let me just put these. Kiitos, Satu Johanna. Aina saa laittaa myös viestiä, jos jotain on. Then I need to get it around underneath everything. Where are you? There we go. This is maybe a little bit more assemblage styled thing. Because January is a winter month, I'm doing this icy, glistening, snowy tag then. But yeah, thank you for watching. Kiitoksia, kun olitte katsomassa. Hyvää joulun aikaa, onnellista uutta vuotta. And if you would like to have any of these cards, just send me a message or send me an email. Email address is on my blog, for example, and I'll put them to the post. Yeah, mixed media tarot cards would be great. I just admire the cards. They are beautiful. I have no idea how to use them or what goes into the deck, but yeah, still it would be great. So thank you, happy holidays everyone, and I'll be seeing you next year. Bye!